What tools will best support a quality review that includes multiple stakeholders? How a quality review is conducted and what it entails can vary based on context, particularly given the diverse opportunities of experiential learning. Different courses, programs, institutions, community partners, and students may all have different needs and different contributions to make to the process. While a standard quality review process may be adequate, there may also be opportunities and challenges that are specific to different situations that can be addressed with some planning and forethought. Creating a customized plan that identifies information to be collected, develops useful collection tools, and establishes a timeline to follow will help you to conduct a quality review that meets the needs of your specific context and gathers information that will help in improving experiential learning for everyone involved. So that by the time the third iteration had gone, we've added all of these components and they all seem to be working. So we had the kind of, not lectures, but workshop-based component in the class with the guest speakers. We had the uh, uh, more kind of open, free-form, question-prompted uh, discussions in the seminars, and they had their actual placements. Um, so all three of those working together, I think, really make for a robust experience on the part of a student, because simply placing students, they, they have these anxieties and these questions, and they don't get addressed, and they don't have a venue to do it, and they're not exposed to skills that might help them deal with those kinds of anxieties. Then another development from running on our studio from a few years, uh, for a number of years rather, we discovered that we needed to add another class outside of that that showed some of the more um, really necessarily necessary technical skills that you need when you're emerging as a practicing artist. So those are things like, how do I write a budget? How do I write a grant? How do I write a show proposal? How do I write an artist statement? How do I document my work? So another class that evolved that was purely praxis. So it's not the research about the practice, it's not the practice, but it's marketing the practice. I have been called a Pollyanna or slightly idealistic over uh, over the years for sure. Uh, certainly, there are risks. And, and, and like any good learning experience uh, for students or any good experience that we might engage in or try to engage in, things may go awry. Um, and, you know, the, the, best, um, the best reality is that uh, take the take the good and know that there is a, a good amount of good and in those circumstances where things are not great reflect right think back and discuss if it's if you're a community partner and you've had a poor experience who do you liaise with at the institution to talk about that experience if you're a faculty who, who do you connect with to, to debrief what went wrong and what you could do differently and with your students how do you have those conversations in your classroom say okay something went awry here I, I always believe if we design a assignments in advance. Again, spend that time up front um, having those conversations with students. Like, what does this look like if you, you know, if this happens? Um, that almost that case method, then you're going to be more prepared and hopefully circumvent some of those problems. Um, you know, uh, we can only ever do our best and I think you have to celebrate what bests offer and when things don't happen as you plan then you learn you reflect you go back and if at first you don't succeed try try again